It is the call to the post as we get ready for the Kentucky Oaks and the Kentucky Derby. The post positions are now official. The pill pool finishing just a few hours ago. Well, the post positions can have a major impact on race day odds. Sports director Ken Spencer joins us now to explain what the field looks like ahead of Friday and Saturday. You know, for the first time since I can remember, all of the thought of major contenders for Derby 149 got pretty favorable starting positions. Let's take a look exactly how the field is going to shake out for the run for the Roses. Two of Brad Cox's four contenders drew the two inside posts with Hit Show and Verifying, who finished second in the Bluegrass Stakes. The winner of the Bluegrass at Keeneland. Tappet Trice is the second betting choice at 5-1 to one for Todd Pletcher, who also has undefeated Kings Barnes, who won the Louisiana Derby going away. Skinner, who's trained by John Sheriffs, got into the field last week. Remember, he had Giacomo, the long shot, who won the Derby in 2005. Santa Anita Derby winner. Practical move is getting 10 to 1 odds for trainer Tim Yachtin. A couple big draws in this section. First, you have Arkansas Derby winner Angel of Empire for Brad Cox, the third betting choice at 8 to 1. And then you have the favorite, Forte, at 3 to 1 for Trot, Todd Pletcher. Forte has wins in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and the Florida Derby. Rounding out the field, the two horses from Japan, Derma Sotogaki and Continuar. Derma Sotogaki, who won the UAE Derby, getting good odds at 10 to 1. Important to point out, the UAE Derby has never produced a winner in the Kentucky Derby. Good information there. Well, sports reporter Tyler Griever is down at Churchill Downs right now with photojournalist Philip Merle. And Tyler, how are the trainers feeling about their horses' positions? Yeah, Shay, Todd Pletcher really hasn't had the best luck with this thing in the past couple of years, but he has nothing to complain about this year. It feels good to be the favor with Forte after he draws the 15 spot, but how the rest of this played out actually sets up a very interesting battle in this field. Like I mentioned, Forte is going to be in that 15 hole, but right next to him is Angel of Empire in 14. So the two strongest horses for Pletcher and Brad Cox, who combined have seven runners in this field, will have to edge each other out for position right out of the starting gate. Overall, both trainers are pleased with where their top contenders drew. I'm very happy with it. You know, with the new starting gate, you don't have that space in between 14 and 15, which sometimes could cause a little trouble. So hopefully get some tactical position in the first turn and be able to save a little bit of ground and, and go from there. Good post. Um, happy with it. Um, you know, break. Flavian will put him in a great spot. He always does. And excited about giving him an opportunity Saturday. He's a good horse. Very good horse. Only one of Recent history actually also plays into Pletcher's favor. In the past 10 years, this race has seen three winners come from the 15 hole. Now, while Cox has plenty of other contenders, it's going to be tough to win out of 14 with Angel of Empire. A horse has not come out of that post to get a victory since 1961. But for now, reporting from Churchill Downs, I'm Tyler Griever, WHS 11 on your side. Thank you so much, Tyler. Now, the last time the favorite in the Derby was a closer and won. Orb in 2013 for Shug McGahee. Forte is a closer, and so is Angel of Empire. So we're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing plays out. I am so excited. Derby Week officially underway. Absolutely. All right, Kent, thank you so much.